hello 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 good morning good morning welcome to our youtube channel welcome to our youtube channel thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you thank you thank you so much please if you haven't subscribed kindly click the subscribe button if you have subscribed thank you so much thank you i appreciate you this morning i want to talk about a little things yeah for the record please if you if you contacted me about the attraction and favor soap and i told you it's finished that day please the production process is on today it will be available today by the grace of god come to my whatsapp and place your orders please same with the cleansing soap some persons are contacting me for it it's finished but i will try and make another one today by the grace of god so i want to address a little point in some previous video number one you know, sometimes some persons will say, why is it that everything, all these kind of things is in Africa, you see it, is in Africa, you see it, and all that. Every continent and region have their own form or format of um, problem, or how do I put it? You understand? It's not just an African thing. Then secondly, there is a comment I want to address in one of the videos that talks about um, eating in the dream. Sometimes when you make a video, at the end of the day, you realize there's a point not mentioned that you would have loved to mention. I think this is where jotting down some things would be nice. Now, there's a point I wanted to make in that video, like, there's this um, saying that will tell you that when you eat in the dream, when you awake, it means you are craving that food. When you awake, you should go get that particular food, prepare it and eat it to neutralize the effect of... Um, of whatever you must have eaten in the dream <laughs> that was a vo uh, that was a very very funny um do i call it law or whatever yes then when um one used to eat in the dream if it's something that you can afford you understand because remember then you cannot even afford maybe you cannot even afford to a a, a, a nutritious one square meal that is the situation this kind of things put you into stagnation and all that stagnation and all that so if you are lucky that you ate in the dream and it happens to be let's say um you were given a biscuit uh, 15 era biscuit then you wake up happily and you go and buy that same biscuit or 15 era and you eat it you are happy that you have neutralized them whatever it is now the funny thing is by the time they feed you the kind of food you cannot afford in real life what do you do then no answer me what do you do you just be looking like oh this dream again and all that now i want to um ask the person that made that comment that day i didn't reply because there are some things you just look and just let it go the person says um eating in the dream is um psychological or whatever sexing in the dream is psychological that when you think about um, such things you tend to have such dreams <laughs> let me ask you a question why is it that when you think of your dreams like oh by the grace of god i would have loved to have an admission into a um, so, so so university then you think of it for some days you don't tend to dream where you are given the admission and where you start school even though physically you have started processing but you have been denied always you understand you have been denied the admission always why is it that you don't dream of such then when you are awake divinely somehow 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 you get the admission or you dream of yourself traveling um, you dream of yourself traveling abroad and all that and why is it that way you are awake maybe you are preparing to travel you've been preparing to travel you understand now psychologically you not dream of that why is it that way you are awake you know because you are eating or sexing in the dream that will stop such breakthroughs for you then when you are awake why is it that when you go for such visa interviews they still deny you that visa and all that so to each his belief you understand to each person his belief if you believe that eating in the dream has nothing it's just what you think about or sexing in the dream is nothing it's because you're thinking about sex that's why you had that time um, such a dream and let me ask you for some persons even when they uh, crave for a, a particular meal you understand they crave for it every, they crave for such meal every day they don't tend to have the dream of being uh, of being fed in the dream with that same food until maybe after some days they begin to dream of being fed in a dream please if you're having that kind of psychological thinking that is because you crave for such that's why you're dreaming of it 
You understand when it comes to eating in the dream and sex in the dream, please change your mentality towards that. Thank you. Now, I want to talk about how your waste can put you into trouble. You understand? You know, when you have um, a blog or you're a writer or whatever, I, tell, I told us in one of my videos, that makes you an automatic gossip. You're a gossiper because your ears will be alert on how to get vital information. So, a um, few days ago, I was in my room and I had an elderly old woman, not elderly woman. She was lamenting like um, she saw someone excrete where the person is not supposed to excrete in her um, domain or whatever. The person excreted there and she was just lamenting. Now, that is in Yoruba, she was saying, if I want to do this person bad, I will go and look for Atare. Atare is alligator pepper and then pepper and then fire whatever she was just lamenting i will look for it now and put it on that person's excrete and the person will blah 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 she was just lamenting yes before now i've been hearing of things like that that they use someone's excrete to do whatever to the person you understand now i want to tell you be careful with your excrete you may think it is waste but um the one that is anything coming out of your body you, you may think it's waste now sometimes i go to some maybe outside and you are pressed or something you happen to want to use them um, somewhere to relieve yourself i get to see some tissues thrown around you understand now these tissues are used by some persons and i just shake my head you understand why lift what you use for your in your body why leave it carelessly i remember during the university days and all that they would say they are um leaving the a woman's empowered and all that in the waste bin is not good the way it's disappeared and all you, you get all those things see you may call them waste they are out of your body but they can be used against you yes they can be used against you and you begin to go around and wonder what is happening what this 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 is please be careful with whatever comes out of your body that you call waste either um whatever it is Either it's something you use to clean up yourself and all that. Please be very careful. You understand? And again, please don't leave a channel, a loophole for the enemy. Same, I don't know, only God knows. That is why I don't want to talk about the how to use alligator pepper for evil. No, I don't want to talk about that. Same, um, this um, alligator pepper. I happened to enter KK, what they call a tricycle, one time about a month ago. So this tricycle picked another of his colleague along the way. So he was asking me, asking him, where have you been? So that one was sad, lamenting that he, his um, tricycle was seized, blah, blah. That if he wants to do something now, he will just use um, atare, the same alligator pepper, to do it against. Please don't leave loophole for your enemies. What is this loophole we are talking about? Don't give them a channel. You understand? See, the truth is, even when you don't do anything to some persons they are planning to bring you down it's only by the grace of god you understand it's only by the grace of god it's only it's just that god has not allowed them to consume us you understand that is the truth god has not allowed them to consume us so why give a channel you understand why give them a channel to get to you be careful keep your hands clean and another thing is do you leave your clothes outside at night you leave them outside please no matter what especially your children's clothes when you wash them and it's evening take them in even if they are not dry please these things are channel you may see even if you feel you're living in your own compound as long as it's outside your compound there are the night is powerful the night is strong there are things happening outside why then leave your clothes or your children's clothes to dry uh, to overnight to sleep out please if you're doing that stop it you hear some persons um see some persons in their dream you understand with their clothes everything they own and all that now it may not be the person that is, is it may not be the real person sometimes you understand but the person's clothes and whatever is being used the person's face you understand it's being used when you not know this person with the clothes and all that you not believe that hundred percent ah it's this person it's this person is it not the person's clothes this it may be that the person left his or her clothes outside and it was used to go for whatever the night is deep stop leaving your clothes outside especially your children's clothes it's not good it's not good it's a channel once again 
don't leave a channel into your life don't leave a channel to don't leave a channel whereby they will come in always keep your hands clean above all remember it is god that is protecting us so it's not all this one that we are doing it's not all this one that we are doing it's just god it is just god so make sure you you keep your hands clean so that when your case is mentioned in the wrong place god your uh, your chi your guardian angel will stand for you people will stand for you and say no what i mean people will stand for you not physically you understand we say no this person no he or she didn't do anything this person he or she, you understand keep your hands clean thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you thank you